Alright, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch me. Today we are here with the season finale of Miraculous. So we're watching episodes 25 and 26. Confirmation and Recreation, which Recreation sounds terrifying. But I am so excited to watch. Uh, just so you guys know, basically I'm going to watch the first part. We're going to talk about it a little bit and then we'll go into the second part. Just so I can kind of get all of my thoughts and feelings all kind of put together before we finish it off and then everything will come together. We'll have a lot to talk about, I am sure. So keep in mind, guys, if you want to see my full uncut reaction to this, you can check it out by going over to my Patreon link down below. But without further ado, let's get started. This is such a happy start. For flawless skin and flushing out toxins. <laughs> perfection the oh of honey i forgot yeah they're like in padded cells i totally forgot about that one day they'll understand that we did this all for their own good this is terrible the by the way while I prepare the remedy. also i think it's slightly illegal too yep he worked us in a cage akumatize me dear megakuma again <sighs> multitude oh Voyage. oh Okay. After spreading bad dream dust all across the world, I will awaken the dormant nightmares in each human's mind. Oh no! We're going big! Oh no, everybody has them. I thought maybe Adrian was the only one. Oh, everybody. I want to see Adrian! You have nothing more to do with my son. Oh, this is her. We'll see about nightmare. that. I see. Okay, I was gonna say, I was like, why are you showing up with ladybug stuff? <laughs> I did not understand this was a nightmare. Mr. Request? Oh! Father! No! Why did you do that, Marinette? nightmare i'm so sorry you might have to do that though his father won't tell you a thing will he he won't but maybe his assistant natalie will adrian told me that she was always kind to him yes let's yes. go and talk to her yes get get natalie get natalie marinette i've gotta hide at your place monarch is about to find me and i'm terrified i'm gonna blow up your <gasps> your sacred identity oh, oh no it'll oh, be yeah. even worse if i hide at your place gotta talk to natalie talking to natalie is like the best thing very concerned about alia the alia thing is scary but i've destroyed everything oh no and you're just living my fault. in this perpetual nightmare anti-cat there is only one way to repair all of these you are going to give me ladybug's miraculous and yours no <sighs> the door now let me out it's time to begin distribution of the antidote to Open these the nightmares. Oh, antidote. You'll find serenity again with us. Oh. To download your app for free, say, perfect That's alliance. That's terrifying. <sighs> oh, no. Don't, I don't, it's a bad idea. It's a really bad idea. I don't trust it. This is insane. My father is out of control. Hell yeah, boy. <laughs> Proud of you. Do download your You cannot transform. Do download your I shouldn't say that. I was supposed to be like, how could a father do this to this son? Parents have done quite a lot worse than this. Do download your free. No! Alliance. Surely Ladybug can help you. If I ask her for help, I'd have to give her information that would jeopardize my secret identity. Oh, no! And I can't. Perfect. Alliance. <laughs> We'll see each other again, my friend. I know it. In the meantime, the only thing I can do is not get akumatized. Oh. <laughs> ah, I'm just sad that like Adrian doesn't get to be a part of this. Like he did a tiny bit, but I don't know. I kind of was hoping that they do it together, you know, like they're a team. So it's kind of sad when you stop and think about the fact that he doesn't 
get to help or get this satisfaction. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't love that. He's forgetting all about the nightmares he'd previously been obsessing about. Soon he'll calm down and later fall sound asleep. Perfect alliance is a success, dear Tsurugi-san. I'm sorry, have we not tested it before this? We just sent it out to people? Like, what's happening? We all have nightmares. We no. all have fears. Unfortunately, these negative emotions have nightmares. No. After months no. of research, Tsurugi Labs have found the antidote. Oh, this is her nightmare. Uh, I keep forgetting these are a thing. <laughs> I keep forgetting that they're having fingers. Okay, cool. I'm stupid. Don't mind me. He's going to finally do it. Natalie? Natalie, are you going to go kill him? Natalie, are you threatening violence? The one thing that I have been craving in this entire show, and Natalie's gonna be the one to do it? Hell yeah! Natalie, get him! I want you to take that crossbow, you light it up, and you go bam! <laughs> I always asked for a gun, but what I truly needed was a crossbow. <laughs> Drat, where is she? <laughs> Zoe? Do we get Zoe back? Oh my God, do we? Could we? I love it. I love Zoe. Stupid, stupid, stupid. 99% download. We may begin, Gabriel. 99% download! Oh my gosh, people work fast! I only have a few hours left now, but nothing will stop me from seizing Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous. I will unite the magic jewel so I can make the wish that will bring you back to me. <laughs> oh my god, she's gonna do it! I can't let you do that. Oh my god! If you make the wish to bring her back, someone will have to go in her place. Emily would never have agreed to this. All these years working together, and you really think that I'm a Zoe! monster? Do it! Nuru, dark we uh, No! Why did you hesitate? <sighs> There's nothing you can do to stop me now. Wow, those are all very dramatic shots, by the way. Just saying. I know I was busy telling her to, like, kill and stuff, you know, whatever. But then... Oh, she's going to figure it all out. Uh oh. It can't be. Uh oh. Uh, we don't have Adrian for this. This is so sad. He's not gonna. Darkwing's fault. She's not gonna tell him, is she? Though. Oh God. Kevinor, Gabriel Agrest is monarch, and oh. waiting for you at his place. We'll only have a shot if we fight him together. I knew it as soon as I realized that you were instigating Adrian's defiance when you started insidiously supporting his ridiculous fling with Marinette Aww. Dupin Chang. You can relax now. Oh no, girly, you can't tell him. You can't tell him. It's his dad. Where is Adrian Agrest? What have you done with him? He is safe, but you aren't. <laughs> The whole world is in danger. Monarch is about to send all of humankind after you and Cat Noir. Oh no. He can't get a hold of you, Miraculous. And soon I will. Stop Monarch at all costs. That's what she would have wanted. Aww. Transform back. Transform back. What? Why? Wake up. Wake up. Wait. Oh, because they're going to try to come after her miraculous. That's why she's asking her to transfer back. But dang. Oh, this is so dramatic. I love it. Oh, spicy. So you two think you can do better than us? <laughs> the perfect alliance is stronger against Akuma's than Cat Noir and Lady Oh, oh this is ridiculous. Ladybug would never do that. Oh. 
You saw what we all saw. Oh. Trust me, we all know Ladybug because she saved each and every one of us at least once. Oh. We all owe something to Ladybug, and we know she would never kidnap anyone, and neither would... Cat Noir? Alia, thank you. Oh my god, Alia, god, you're just like literally the best. I love Alia. She does her best. I know she's upset me a few times, but honestly, through and through, our girl always comes through. Where's Ladybug? Okay. Is she gonna transform? I hope she transforms. Would you agree to be my temporary yeah. holder? It doesn't feel like I really have a choice here, do I? <laughs> Wait, what if I get comatized? I know who Ladybug is. Oh, oh, I keep honey. having okay, this okay, haunting okay. nightmare where I give the miraculous to Monarch. Besides, with Cat Noir's powers, I could. I know, destroy the world, blah, blah, blah. I better find a ladybug then, and quick. I could help you if I still had a phone to call Marinette. Well, all right then. It shall be Plague alone versus the rest of the world. No, I want to see Alia. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> Ladybug's in there. A ladybug imprint has been detected in your home, Gabriel. <sighs> she's probably trying to flee from the miraculous by hiding here. How very ironic. No, she's on to you, my dude. She is on Lady to you. Where are Kasami and Adrian? What? Venom! Come on! What on earth are you talking about? Oh, oh, we are in big trouble. <laughs> okay, girl, you gotta go. Run, bitch! Run! <laughs> transform back. Of course. Yeah, we gotta we gotta do that. We gotta transform back. They won't be able to sense us anymore. Spots off. Okay. Quantum imprint lost. Oh, I Where'd love all go? these dramatic shots. It's really cool. Just the like cinematography of this episode's really nice. You can tell they put a lot more time into this. I'm going to give a personal proper welcome to Ladybug. After all, I am her host. Oh, no! Oh, Ladybug. I can't get a hold of Cat Noir or Transform. Oh, honey. Oh, my God. Where are scary. you? Oh, Plague, you got to find her first. Oh, no, the ring. Oh, no, the ring! What are you doing here? You shut up! I'm so fucking scared right now, you shut up! Found you! Oh my god! Marinette Dupan Chang? No! Tiki, Plank, Unify! Oh! Oh, 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 look at her brain! Oh my god! Oh! Oh, look at her Oh, whoa, her eyes! Oh, me? Bug Noir. Bug Noir, I love it! Oh, girl looks good. <gasps> That's how the episode stops? Oh my god. Wait, I want to look at her one more time. Okay, I want to look at this before we move on because, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, I thought it was just like one braid, but it's three braids. Just one is like significantly longer. I love that. That's so cool. It's so perfect just for like Marinette with her cute little style. Oh, I adore that. And I love the like mix of red, black, and green throughout the outfit. It's a really nice balance and kind of shows like just the, the very ladybug centric parts, but then also the very cat noir parts of it. Oh, it's lovely. And her eyes kind of getting that little cat look to them. But not the obnoxious cat look that she had when she had the, um, what was, I didn't even remember what she was called, Lady Noir or something. Uh, her eyes were kind of like creepy. But this Unify looks really nice. I, I sincerely love this look. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. I love it. I actually really like this design. I'm very excited to see it more in the next episode, but I wanted to just like focus on this for a hot minute because it was so pretty. So I anticipated we were gonna have a lot to talk about after this first part, but oh my gosh, number one, like what a cliffhanger. Like obviously we're gonna be watching the episode like immediately after, so it's fine. Like, oh my God, to just like have that like bug noir, just like right at the end, slap it in our face. And 
Gabriel finding out Ladybug's identity is Marinette. Oh my gosh, like so dramatic. I love it. I love all of it. Don't get me wrong. But oh my God, like, oh, it, it was so good. And just like, I got to get all my like energy out because I'm very, very excited. And we're like really just like going into things. <laughs> But number one, the cinematography has been amazing in this episode. I love these very cool, more cinematic shots that we are getting. Like of Natalie with the crossbow. It all was just very like dramatic. The lighting was very, very good. I feel like in normal episodes, um, the show's lighting is always very off. Uh, they don't really... Um, give scenes certain lights that they should have things are always a little bit weird um but here oh my gosh everything's so dramatic like when marinette's in the like you know uh underneath the like sink or whatever in the cabinet like that lighting there very like dark it looked really good helps kind of like create the tension a bit more instead of just like making it dark we had like you know kind of the light coming in it looks cool um but, oh my gosh, wow. So we, from what it seems, we're not gonna get Adrian or our cat Noir because he is stuck in London right now. And Ladybug, Bug Noir has his Miraculous. So I don't think Adrian's gonna be a part of this, which I did kind of anticipate something like this happening just because in the previous episode, uh, 24, Adrian kind of, Cat Noir, had his moment with his father already because since Gabriel akumatized himself, Adrian was aware that it was his father. They both were able to have this very indirect conversation and Adrian was able to voice a lot of his concerns without actually like hurting his father, but hoping that maybe his father would hear him since he knows his father doesn't respect him. So very, very well done. Especially since it seems as though Adrian is not going to be a part of this, which is a little bit sad. Um, especially because we are pretty sure Gabriel's, at least Monarch's reign ends. I don't know if Gabriel dies, but judging by how bad his arm is looking and to the extent he is going, I highly doubt he's going to live past this, past this episode, next episode. Um, just my thought, it could be possible. Uh, he could get his wish. Um, I don't know if we're going to end up using the wish. Uh, it's a little dicey. Uh, but along with that, oh my God, our girl, Natalie. I've always loved Natalie. I will continue to love Natalie. Honestly, girl could like do no wrong to me at this point. I love her. Girl, like, she was like, I got to stop this. I got to man up. I got to go past this madness and I've got to end it all and take matters in my own hand. Girl grabbed a crossbow and she's like time to go hunted oh my gosh i like i said y'all i have been wishing for the the lucky charm gone but you know what i needed you know the hero who came through for me natalie natalie did she grabbed that crossbow and she's like i got you sammy let's go <laughs> If no one got me, my girl Natalie has got me. <laughs> She's out here coming up with real solutions. <laughs> I, I love her. I love her so much. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. Honestly, it was so good. <laughs> Honestly, you could have just painted it red and black for me with the polka dot. And it basically was a lucky charm. <laughs> But I obviously like that's not the real solution. Violence is not it, y'all. Okay. But like she's tried with him and he doesn't listen. He's a stupid man. So I mean, girl gotta do what a girl gotta do. She's trying to protect Adrian and the entire world. Okay. She doesn't got superpowers. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, Natalie's not looking good. I'm very scared for Natalie. Um, and of course, Gabriel's also not doing well. But the worst part of this all is the fact that like Kagami and Adrian are all locked up over in like London. 
in like padded walls and being forced to just like consume this mind numbing antidote. So I feel terribly, terribly bad for those two. Like Kagami, I just feel exceptionally bad for because she finally has found happiness and is getting ripped away from her. Adrian has started to come into his own. He's started to make his own decisions and his father also has instantly ripped it away from him. I I still don't quite get why Miss Sarugi wants Adrian and Kagami to be together so badly. I guess it's just because they want their families to be unified and like Miss Sarugi's like got the money and she like wants a suitable partner for her daughter. Or maybe her daughter just probably won't be able to like keep the family lineage up because she's a senti monster so she needs another senti monster i don't know that's my like only assumptions i hope that maybe we'll get that answer i'm gonna doubt it though because i don't know if we're taking down both miss Sarugi and gabriel or if it's just gabriel it's concerning if miss Sarugi stays that will be terrifying but i could see that happening so that we have a familiar villain but we still have lila by the way, we have no idea what's going on with Lila. She was not mentioned at all in this first part. So I'm going to guess she's not going to get mentioned at all in the second part. And that's just going to be what we learn in season six. That's my thought. I have no idea. But I am I am so in love already with this first part. I'm so excited to see what Marinette does with the ladybug and cat. Miraculous. It's going to be interesting. I can't wait to see her just like kick his butt. And we have a cool fight sequence and how this is all going to wrap up in the end. Because the only other thing we have left is the plastic special. But that has that is not has no relevance to what we are doing. Like not it. So I don't know. I'm excited. I'm nervous to see what's going to happen. So let us continue on to part two. <laughs> Oh, I just talked about Lila. I'm sorry, are you Edna Mole? What are you doing? I should have known. I should have known. Whatever oh, happens, yo, it's yo, yo. <laughs> To think of the number of times I nearly accumulated you. She, she grew up that she can do this now or is that just like her unify i like that we're going back here oh. it was just a nightmare hey it wasn't real oh you are more than worthy look at you it's time for you to prove that you remember everything I've taught you. What's the point of this? I don't understand this world anymore. Master, don't let these nightmares overcome you. They went to go become guardians? Over here, Ladybug needs help. Your mirror kung fu will be more helpful in Paris. I thought you weren't supposed to meddle in the present. I can't, but you people can. <laughs> A back burner here what luca's a guardian now like one of the monks so luca's just a guardian now that's just like a thing i have to like see somehow we're not allowed to talk about it but we just have to keep barreling on fine i guess i'll just sit on that and just question my entire life and wonder what he's been doing and how he even found the guardians and why he became a guardian it makes a lot of sense that he's a guardian but it's just weird that it's suddenly a thing Making the mistake of wearing the two miraculous and I'm coming! Beautiful who's going to lose, like always. Cataclysm! Not this time! Girl! Break and then go down on the hand! Go down! Stop! Oh, this would be so easy if you could defeat me with a snap of your fingers, wouldn't it? Shelter! Yay! Wait, 
What have you done yeah, so miraculous? Where are the cornies? <laughs> The oh. cronies are my prisoners, pathetic little beasts in cages! Ew, look at his mouth. Ooh. Are we gonna fix them once we get them back? Paris, 15th arrondissement. I free you from your nightmare! Ah. Oh, nice. Okay. That's fun that they're here now. My true nightmare is you! And it stops right here! Cataclysm! <laughs> Oh, are we going down to mom? We're going down to mom, aren't we? Store of justice! Oh, the warrior brings forth a sudden shower of redeeming sweats! Twinsy! I read so much you? to Luca. <clears throat> That's a long story. Yeah, it's a long story that I would love to hear right now. Nothing is more important than hearing what the fuck happened there. Right here, right now, tell me. How do you resist the nightmares? I am the nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> I love that they're here, though. I really like this. It really just adds a big beautiful finale to everything lady Belk, what are you doing she's doing her best lay off her <gasps> no this is impossible i want my wife adrian's mother to come back to us you cannot be for real oh my god you for real no you for fake no you for real <gasps> adrian would do the same thing Never. Unlike you, Adrian has made his peace with it. He's not living in the past. He has a whole life ahead of him. You'd know this if you ever took an interest in what him. What is she doing? But in reality, Adrian means nothing to you anymore. What is she doing? Oh my god! Ooh, what is happening? Why was that there? Ah! No! Oh wow. Gosh, this is so dramatic. <gasps> I can just say the word and the rings will be destroyed. You'll be powerless. The Kwamis will be free. Thanks to my magic ladybugs, I'll repair the chaos you okay. created. Then do that. Check. Do it then! <laughs> Except you will only have a few hours left to live. So does Natalie, a victim of your madness. And Adrian will be miserable. What is happening? We want Adrian to be happy. And that was also your wife's greatest wish. Oh, shit. Don't be sad, Natalie. You know that I had agreed to it. Adrian will be well surrounded. He'll have you, Natalie. Adrian has learned to live and built his own happiness while cherishing the memory of his mother. She would be proud of him. You are a sad, strange little man. And you have my pity. <laughs> Natalie's about to disappear. And so am I. Adrian will have no one left. I'm sure we can figure out a solution. If we work together. You and me. What? We're together! You're joking. But we can think and work out a solution on our own human scale. Even though it won't be as perfect as we want it to be. Oh. What's our... What are we going to do, though? Spots and claws away! I don't trust this man. Mary, please. I'm so scared. Don't let him. Girl, no. She's too good for her own self. Uh... Don't trust him. <laughs> what? I told you I didn't trust him. Oh my God, girl. You're so stupid. I already have my solution, stupid. Marinette. Stupid, stupid. Stupid! Oh my gosh, what are we doing? Oh my god! Ah. I am Vlad, the oh. Kwame of destruction! I am oh. Tiki, the Kwame of creation. We've seen this one where Tiki was having her hunger. 
we saw that like vision visage of her. Oh no. I am Gimme, the Kwame of reality. I am everything that was, is, and will be. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Make sure that Adrian never knows about the villain that I was. But instead, oh? that he remembers the times I tried to be a good father. And when was that? What do you wish for? Read my heart. What do you sacrifice? Read my soul. Oh. So be it. So he's bringing Emily back? What is he giving for it? Himself? What about Natalie? Okay, he's giving himself to be with her. So she, wait, no, what is happening? It is a one for one. I'm so confused. What did he give? He did not say a word, so I do not know. Oh my God, did you just kiss him, girl? Oh my God. Oh, we're Hi. hanging out in the backyard. Oh, oh, oh. we have a pool. Oh, cute. <laughs> okay. Ah, Felix, you got me. Oh. Oh, wait, Natalie's here. Okay, Natalie's here and okay and alive. A few weeks since you became the new mayor of Paris, and you've already completely oh, transformed your city. Mayor. What's your superpower? And hello to Harmony as well. Oh my God, she had a baby and became mayor. Gaslight, gatekeep, girl boss. All the alliance rings that were hijacked by Monarch have been recycled to design the statue in honor of the great oh, Gabriel Agreste, beyond no. the visionary entrepreneur and the genius creator. It's the hero who we celebrate today. And tomorrow, it's his legacy that I will continue to carry on. Oh, no! Why don't you tell us about this new school you've imagined? Oh, it is. In this new school, there will be no classes or struggling to get good grades. Learn at their own pace and help each other until they've figured out what they want to do later in life. Children are our future. No. If we want it to be bright, we must help each child to shine. Yeah! Aww. Cute. You gotta tell them though, You're right? Not wearing it? When Ladybug gave it to me, she told me how my father helped her to defeat Monarch at the cost of his life. <laughs> Oh, you lied. You're the only one who can decide what you make of your life. Wow. You always find the right words, Marinette. When I'm with you, I feel so free. Aww. I love you. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is crazy. Wow, is that really it? Them's wild times we got going on here. Like, dang, there is so much that just happened. Still no trace of the miraculous of the butterfly? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. After the wish, all I could find was the double wedding ring. I transformed into Aquabug and searched the basement, but nothing. Oh. Even after repairing everything, it's as if the brooch had disappeared. Lila! When Monarch sees my yo-yo, you suddenly gain oh, access wait. to all the miraculous at once. What? This can never happen what? again. What? Which is why I'll remain the guardian, but only to support and help my fellow heroes. I mean, I kind of got on, Each holder will be responsible for the miraculous and their Kwame. Oh. Did not see that coming. <laughs> oh, Felix just keeps his? Oh. I guess, like, we do trust him, so. Wow. So now everyone has a miraculous. I love slash hate that though. It makes me nervous. Mr. Damocles? Hello. My family and I just moved to Paris. Is it still possible to register at your new school for the upcoming year? I'll see you at the start of the school year. Oh? I look forward to seeing you again, Marinette Japan Chain. Huh? What is happening? What is happening? What was that shit? What was that? What was that? Uh, 
why were things floating why was what was that what was happening with that it was weird i why is she re-going to a the new school why is she coming back would she really think she's gonna fool anybody feel like merida's gonna like clock her within a second oh and why does she why does she want the miraculous why does she want the butterfly miraculous what is the point oh this girl okay first thing i want to talk about is the witch we got to see the witch it was used it is crazy wild times um so we didn't get to really verbally hear what gabriel wished for but i think with our pretty quick context clues we can kind of deduce what happened because they have said many many times not just like in these episodes but they have said many times that the wish is very much a equivalent exchange type of thing that if you change something something else will have to change there is a price to pay for that change no matter how is significant you think it might be there is a cost to it they have always made that very clear and so judging from this alone we see that natalie is alive and well judging by the fact that it's no longer the gray strip which was our significant indicator that she was not doing okay but natalie is alive and well so my thought is Gabriel has respected his wife's wishes. She said very clearly in the video, Emily, that she wants Natalie to be there to be happy and that he is loved. And if his father is willing to give up on the crazy dreams, then Gabriel be there too. Gabriel did not give up on the crazy dreams, but he wanted to be with his wife so badly that he in exchange, from my understanding, I guess I could be wrong, but I think this was pretty clear. Gabriel gave up his life to have, to give life back to Natalie, essentially is what happened. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, that is what I am moving forward with, because that is how equivalent exchange would work. Technically, Gabriel does not have anything else to give since his wife is not alive. His wife is dead. And we don't really see her like open her eyes or move anything. So it's very clear to me that like she's just ascending up with him as he's giving up his life and being with her one more time. It's kind of indicating that they will be together now in the afterlife with one another. That was my understanding. And Natalie gets her life back. Which I think is fair. So then it begs the question, who was next to Natalie? That was Amelie. We see Felix and Kagami are there. I think that makes it pretty clear that she is there as well. And that they will now be functioning as kind of a family unit. And now we can kind of fully piece together the story of Felix and Adrian's after episode 24. That... Adrian's mom, Emily, was the one who used the brooch, was the one who made the amok of Adrian, and that Felix's father was the one who made the amok of Felix. And that is why both of them are dead and gone within basically the same amount of time. Very sad. Obviously, it seems that Felix's dad was not great and downright abusive. But now we can kind of understand piece together Adrian and Felix can have these happy lives. I kind of hope maybe Felix now sticks around more. Mainly for like Kagami's sake. Because I think Kagami's going to need someone to stand by her side. Because Miss Sarugi literally says in the end that she's like going to continue on their work. And now there's like a whole statue of Gabriel. Which I think is like downright ridiculous. I get that like Ladybug has told this. Uh, it's it's a lie can, can we just say it's a lie she told this lie that gabriel helped to stop monarch and now adrian does not know number one that his dad was monarch the only two people who ooh, the only mm, there's only four people who know that gabriel was monarch 
that's Marinette, Natalie. Oh, five. Miss Sarugi. <laughs> Felix knows. And now I lost count of who the last person was. <laughs> oh, Lila. So there's five people who know that Gabriel was a monarch. That is a lot of people to know. So that means there are five people in this world who can destroy Adrian, like utterly destroy Adrian and like break any trust he has with Ladybug, which is a lot of people, mind you. That's a lot of people who know. Like, ooh, it's kind of terrifying if you stop and think about it. Like there's five people and one of them is Lila, which we have no idea what just happened to that girl. Things were like flying around her. She now has the butterfly miraculous, which is terrifying. Um, which I also feel bad for Nuru, like poor baby, like, gosh, just can't catch a break. But Lila, yeah, she has some weird things going on. Someone was like coming through like a portal. My only thoughts are like, Bonex was coming or or I don't know I guess I'm not sure oh or um um no 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 I do know uh because remember the the theory uh that Lila might be become uh, might be become sorry might become the new uh Hawk Moth monarch because remember the uh um uh, Nino's brother, right? It's Nino's little brother. Nino's little brother, I think, right? Him, the time tagger, time tagger. No, not time tagger. Is that it? Oh, I don't remember. The the it's time tagger. I think it's time tagger. I might be saying the wrong name. Ah! But it's the it's the one where he's like, I have a different ma ma hawk moth in my time, and like doing all this stuff, and he was like zip zapping through time. All that jazz and Bonnex came. It was like a whole thing. Um, but that that was a thing. And then we saw at the end that Lila was his babysitter. She, it could be that. Like he's coming back for her or something. Like he got like like this is a whole big like plan thing. I don't know. I have no idea. I have literally no idea. I don't know what Lila's like goal is or what her intentions are, why she wants this so badly, besides for just like power? That's like it or just pure chaos? I don't know. Literally no idea this girl is just like entirely fake. She's just constantly doing things. She has like a bajillion moms and lies to so many people and like constant, like in all these different schools, like all these contacts and outfits, like I don't, I don't know who this woman is or what she wants, but I kind of love the chaoticness of her. It's kind of fun not knowing, but it's also like really frustrating not to have any idea what this woman's motivations are. So hopefully we get into that sooner rather than later in season six, because I need to know. But basically we can assume our villains for next season are going to be Miss Sarugi and then Lila, which is... It's entirely possible Lila might end up just working with Miss Sarugi. And hopefully we'll kind of find out Miss Sarugi's like motivation besides for her, I just want my daughter to be with like the grass brand, blah blah blah. Like it's a weird thing. I'm not quite sure what's happening there. And now it seems like Kagami's just happy with Felix. So I don't know how much control her mom has. Cause she was at the party. So I don't know. I have no idea, but I'm very excited to learn more about it all to see what will happen with it. Because there, there was just so much that happened here. And Miss Boussier is mayor now, which is fun. I think she'll be great. Like I said, literally back in like season four or something, I was on like board to have Miss Boussier be mayor. Because I was like, girl, you're speaking great things. Like go out there. And then she did. And I was like, whoa, that's so cool. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I don't I don't know. There's so much that happened here. And like Adrian, Adrian has Natalie now, so he's not alone. And I am hoping that maybe Amelie and Felix will just come live with them. And I'm kind of hoping, I really hope this. I think that they're not going to, but I would love if Felix kind of got a new design. 
so that he doesn't look so much like Adrian. I would love if he like dyed his hair, cut it somehow, anything, honestly. I want a new style for Felix. I want him to like come into his own more and not just be the um, perfect child that like his father created him to be. Because basically, I think what we can deduce why Felix looks so much like Adrian now is because of the fact that when his father was kind of creating him with the Peacock Miraculous, he was jealous that, um, you know, the aggress were having a child. And so he wanted that child, that perfect life that they were having and happiness. So he made the child look like Adrian. That's my assumption for why he looks like him. So I would really like if Felix changed the way he looked, came into his own kind of, you know, did something different about himself. I would appreciate it. I don't think that'll happen, but I would really like it in season six. Or at least, can we start going down that plot line? Can we get like a plot with Felix now that like, now that he's kind of done his like evil stuff, uh, he wasn't exactly evil, but you know, now that he did that, I would love to get like more personal with him and discover who Felix is. I'd like that. That's, that's my wish. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of what else, what else, what else? The nightmare thing was terrifying, but it's all fixed. It's all good. Alliances are done, gone. Um, I kind of hate the fact that Marinette now has to look outside her room all the time and see a statue of Gabriel and be reminded of her big fat lie. That's hilarious. And, oh, uh, you, you know, it's going to come up at some point. Like she's going to get like akumatized or some truth thing at her and she's going to end up telling adrian the truth that like his father was monarch that or lila's gonna use it against them at some point too who knows but yeah so i love that um it looks like everybody has their miraculous back like the physical miraculous back every holder has the miraculous i think it is a good slash bad thing um number one i just hate that like a bunch of irresponsible children are getting them and i'm very scared about that but on the other hand, I do think it's better that we split them up so that way they can't just be yoinked again. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I It makes me like excited because obviously like I want Alia to have the Fox Miraculous back and I want Luca to have the Snake Miraculous back, okay? I'm selfish like that. But at the same time, I'm also like, I don't know if I want someone like Nino having the Miraculous back because... Yes, he's been great and he's been doing his best. But at the same time, Nino scares me. He's not good with secrets. So it makes me feel a little bit frightened. And at the same time, I'm just nervous. But we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Technically, they're all grown. They're growing up. They're learning. But now we're going to like lose Random Miraculous and it's going to be bad. So... We'll see what happens. Overall, I really did like this ending. I thought it was very interesting. It gave us a lot to talk about, uh, kind of theorize with, which is always kind of the most fun to do. <laughs> so I am nervous, but excited to see what season six will bring us. As far as I'm aware, it could have been. I don't know if anything of season six has been leaked. I think as far as I, I know, there's been some like general leaks of like future seasons, but I don't think we've gotten like any like actual scripts or episodes leaked yet. Correct me if I'm wrong. Actually, don't correct me. I don't want to know. But as far as I know, I don't think anything has really leaked in new seasons because I think they're still working on them, obviously. So there's not a lot to leak. But I love it. I really like Miraculous. Yes, it can be a little cringy. Yes, it's like really dramatic and like everything is so like, ugh. but it's fun. I don't know. It's kind of fun at the end of the day to have this like really dramatic show and like goofiness always happening and like it never quite goes the way you want it to. But sometimes it's just so fun. It's fun to get into it. Okay. 
I'm unapologetically loving the show. <laughs> I I like the ridiculousness of the show. And Chloe, oh my God, speaking of people who are ridiculous, we got nothing of Chloe again, which along with like the Adrian stuff in episode 24 and his father, that felt very finite. The Chloe thing also felt finite. It doesn't seem like Chloe's going to be around anymore, which will be interesting because she was just kind of like this like stereotypical villain, like the school villain. And now she won't be around. So I don't know how that will go down. Um, And we'll have a whole new school that people are going to be attending. So there's a lot of like school related things that will also be happening. So I'm very excited for season six to see what new potential everything may bring. What new characters will kind of come our way, especially in the school. And um, I don't know. I'd love if Luca would stick around a bit more too. I, we didn't even talk about that. Oh my gosh, the Guardian Luca. Oh, there's just so much to talk about. Oh my God, Guardian Luca. Guardian Luca. That was like out of left field for me, honestly. <laughs> like I like saw like our Guardian and I was like, oh, cool. And then I was like, is that Jagged Stone back there? And then Luca's just like, Boo! and I was like, oh. <laughs> like what? <laughs> what is that? Like, what is this shenanigans? We saw pictures of them traveling around and then you all just expect me to believe he's now a guardian? Does it make sense? Yes, it does, actually. If anyone's going to become a guardian, it is him. But making Jagged one? Okay, that was like a bit, a touch too ridiculous. It's a touch bit too ridiculous. Like, Luca is a great guardian. I think, honestly, makes sense. He's aware of like the identities. If anybody is going to do that, it should be him so he can protect himself and learn these techniques to, um, you know, disarm, take down miraculous users. So it is very good. I'm glad he did. But yeah, that was shenanigans. <laughs> Utterly shenanigans. <laughs> so overall, this was such a fun time watching this with you all. I'm very, very excited. So we have the plastics episode, okay? Plastics episode is still upcoming. We're going to watch that um, next week on Tuesday. And then I believe I'm going to take a break week. And then we're going to start Avatar. So we will start Avatar Last Airbender, which as, as we note, I have technically watched a lot of Avatar. I'm pretty aware of Avatar. Um, but I have not rewatched in a very long time. I definitely missed a lot of episodes. So we'll be kind of be watching this with like a more adult eye, essentially. But we will start Avatar then on, um, we gotta look, October 10th. Avatar will start October 10th. And my plan is we're going to watch the first two episodes and then we're probably going to go one episode at a time unless it's kind of a two-parter. So yeah, so make sure you guys stick around for that. And along with that, um, Patreon will get the first four episodes of Avatar the same day, October 10th as well. So it is a good time to join my Patreon as well. And you can watch the full episode, all the stuff that I do there. <laughs> so thank you guys so much. It means a lot to me if you guys stick around because we're going to keep doing fun things. Um, I am planning to still do miraculous content. Um, one being the upcoming Shady Bug special that we have going on, the like Miraculous Multiverse that comes out later this year. I will be watching that as well. So make sure you stick around, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So you know, when I upload it, cause we are waiting for the English dub of it. So yeah, I'm excited. So thank you guys so much for watching this with me and I will see you all later. Bye.